Hey there, I'm Stroopman and today is Easter, so happy Easter. But today I'm going to show you how to record in Simple Screen Recorder using the OpenGL option. So if we go into Simple Screen Recorder, you it's when you first open up Simple Screen Recorder, you hit continue. And then you click on the record OpenGL. And if you hit OpenGL settings, you could read their little warning saying that OpenGL recording works by injecting a library into the program that will be recorded. So some games might think that you're trying to hack, so there's a potential that you could possibly get banned from whatever you're playing. But, um, yeah. And. This video is really going to show you how to do this with Steam games on Linux, native Steam games on Linux, because I did look around and I've only been able to find one other video showing how to do this, but it did not show you how to do it with Steam games. So I will put a link to that video in the description. And so because we're doing this with Steam games, we don't really have to put anything right here, but except here, I, I'm not even sure if I need this, but it says limit application frame rate. I put that there because if you are have a computer that doesn't really record games too well, because you might have a lacking CPU, you uh, limit the frame rate to try to get some better quality. So, <clears throat> excuse me, but back to here you would hit op record OpenGL set the frame rate to what you want in this case 60 and record the monitor of your built-in audio hit continue and now you would uh, find the the here is just where it's going to be saved and this is just going to be what file format is going to be saved. I'm fine with MKV because I use Kden Live to edit videos and MKVs work fine with it. The video codec, I, according to the author of this program, this is like the fastest codec so I just decided to leave it. And the constant rate factor is basically like what the quality of your video is going to be. This scale right here is on a scale from 0 to 51, 51 being the worst, 0 being the best. 23 is a default value, and I kind of like it at 23. I mean, if you're adventurous, you could probably set it to like 50, in between 50 and 20. This, the preset for, this is basically for uh, how much CPU is going to work, so if you uh, set it to ultra fast, it's going to use less work on your CPU but your file size will be end up being like huge and the slower you make it um, your CPU will work more but you will have smaller file sizes and now for the audio codec I when you first open up this uh, simple screen recorder it'll be set to Vorbis you could do that if you want I like uncompressed because I feel that it kind of makes quality a little bit better, but that's just me. And then you hit continue. Yes, I'm fine with that. And notice if you just start trying to record right now, I have it set to control P, so if I try to start recording, it'll say something went wrong, and that's because your game's not started. This will not work until you have a game started. So let us try to start a game. Cancel recording. Go back. And then we will try to open. Well, not try. We will open Steam. And when you do this with Steam. So now we will go and open Steam. And the main reason why it wasn't working is because it because it can't find 
the OpenGL uh, program that you're trying to record. So to make Steam it the game able to be found by, you would right click to what game you're trying. I'm going to do Bound by Flame in this video. So you right click on the game and you go to properties and then set launch options and you make sure this command is in here. And you hit OK and close this. But if you try to play the game, you will get an error saying that it can't find the file. An error saying that I can't find a file, so the game will never run. So you close Steam, and then after that, you need to download two files, and I will have the links to the downloads in the description. And once you have them, it's these two files right here. You right click on one of them, it doesn't matter which one, and you open it with the archive manager. And you go within here, you go to the user, lib, and then this file right here, lib ssr glinject.so. You right click on it, and you hit extract, and you, th this, uh, the place where you have to paste this to is pretty deep in there, so I'll have the the pat file path in the description and it it it's not user specific uh, this same thing will work with everyone so you go to your home folder and you go to the hidden steam folder the one that has a period in front and you go in there and then you go into steam and then you go to ubuntu 1232 steam runtime and depending on which one you open first Let's see, I opened the uh, i386 file first, so I'm going to go into the i386 folder, and then the user folder, and then the lib folder, and then the i386 folder, the i386 folder, and now you can ex hit extract. And now you can close this. And now you do almost the same exact thing for the other file. And you hit extract. Steam. Steam. 12.32. Steam runtime. And because now this is the AMD 64, you open this, user, lib, x86-64 Linux, and you hit extract. And you can exit this. And now, we will go back into Steam. And just make sure you still have the launch code. Hit OK, close. And now, when we hit play, it should load up. And it did. So I'm going to exit that. And now going back to Simple Screen Recorder, um, oh wait, we've already set everything up, so I can launch that again. And I can hit Control V. And this time it actually started. So it's giving um, the FPS in and out, and the time for the video is starting to record. And 
I'm not gonna go much into this now, not into this game. So, to stop the video, you can, it'll be on default control R, but I changed it to control P. So I'm gonna hit control P to stop. And then I'm gonna exit this. And then in simple screen recorder, after you've recorded, you want to hit save recording because if you don't and you just exit it, you'll lose whatever you just recorded. So save recording. And then back to the start screen. And I believe that's about it. It's, um, one thing I do have to note is that this only really works if you, if the game you're trying to play goes straight into the game like it won't work with the witcher 2 because the the witcher 2 has a splash screen thing where you have to hit launch game so it doesn't work with every game and i it some games it can have some artifacts so i'm going to um in this video here but at the end of it I'm going to have comparisons between um, games that I'm going to show me recording it recording the whole desk for bound by flame recording the whole desktop versus recording with OpenGL settings and I'm going to do the same thing for dirt showdown and then I'm going to show Metro 2033 because for some reason, I mean, I don't know if it's just my computer specifically, it does not like to record Metro 2033 at all. 2033 at all. Because when I was trying to record it using the entire desktop, the, the mouse wanted to be centered to the middle of the screen so I couldn't move. And then with a... Uh, the OpenGL option just there were um, major graphical problems with there not being buildings or enemies. It was it was terrible. So um, that's about it. Let me see if there's anything I forgot. Nope, I think I covered everything. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's it. So, thank you for watching this. And if you like this video, please like it. If you didn't like this video, dislike it. And if you really liked it, maybe even subscribe. Please check out my albums that uh, I have on iTunes, Amazon, uh, Google Play, they're on a bunch of stuff, and, uh, um, happy Easter, so, have a great Easter, and great day, and great whatever, so, thank you, have, bye-bye.